An incendiary social media post by former President Donald Trump has sparked a standoff between him and federal prosecutors. After Trump broadly threatened revenge on Friday, Justice Department officials pushed back and asked the judge in the January 6th case to rein in Trump. This comes just days after Trump pleaded not guilty in federal court over his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. And tonight, after the judge gave Trump a deadline of 5 p.m. Monday to respond, there has been a flurry of statements from both sides. CBS's Christina Ruffini is in Washington tracking the latest in this legal showdown. Good evening, Christina. Good evening, Robert. Well, the Trump legal team has responded and they've asked for three more days. But this is just one of many legal proceedings the former president is facing as he tries to become president yet again. Every time they file an indictment, we go way up in the polls. Simultaneously facing three criminal prosecutions, the former president took the stage in Alabama last night undeterred. They're trying to make it illegal to question the results of a bad election. Also yesterday, government prosecutors for the 2020 election interference case asked a federal judge for a protective order to limit what Trump can say publicly about the proceedings. They cited concerns Trump might share pretrial evidence and his history of making public statements regarding individuals involved in legal proceedings against him, including this Friday all-caps social media post, If you go after me, I'm coming after you. Deranged. Jack Smith, doesn't he look deranged? He Trump has already directed his rhetoric at the special counsel heading the federal investigations. Meet the cast of unscrupulous accomplices. Now his campaign has launched a new ad targeting officials leading Trump-related investigations in New York, Florida, Georgia, and D.C. To the fraud squad. But Republican rivals, long reluctant to anger the party's pro-Trump base, have been inching closer to criticism. President Trump was wrong. Uh, uh, he was wrong then, he's wrong now. I had no right to overturn uh, the election. I've had, In an I've had interview so today for Face the Nation, the former Vice President Mike Pence was asked if he would testify against his former commander-in-chief. I, I have no plans to testify, uh, but people can be confident. We'll, uh, we'll obey the law, we'll respond to the call uh, of the law if it comes, and, and we'll just tell the truth. And just a little while ago, special counsel Jack Smith responded to that response, asking the judge not to grant the delay, saying the government is ready to move forward. It's the defendant who's standing in the way. Robert. Christina Ruffini, thank you.